Hi guys, it's me, Carmen, aka the Woodland Poet. I am feeling much better today than I have than I was the last time. What was the time before that? I think it was the time before that. I'm feeling better than I was the last couple of days. Uh, getting getting even better all the time. Uh, I was going through a little funk there for a while, and um, but I got out of the house and got to go shop with my mom and got to um. I got to go to this place I like to call that, that I like to go to. That's called the Coffee Scene, and every Sunday night they have like this poetry reading. And you know, I like to get up there and read my poems and and stuff, and I always get very, very inspired by uh, by the poets. But that the coffee house me has is where my husband and I met, so it's very special to me. And um, you know, as usual, some a few lines came out, and I didn't get a real poem out, but I was just looking here on YouTube and on the feature page is um, a young man with a guitar, uh, I think his name was Adele or something like that, I might put it down, I'm sure I got it wrong, but I'll write it in when I look up, look it up, but um, plays a song and, and it's Hometown of Rock, I can really check their page out, I would check, suggest you check that out too, and it inspired me um, to use some of the lines that I picked up from the coffee scene. You know, when I got my shot of poetry, as I like to call it. And, um, so I'm going to stop it for a minute and go ahead and read this poem. And hopefully I can, I'll probably post this as a response to one of their videos. I don't know. Probably that one that was featured. And I hope they get it. Because, you know, I'm going to talk about it a little bit more. You know, I can sit here and be upset that I don't, that things haven't gone the way I wanted it to, and I could feel like a little loser, but I'm not, but I'm not having to worry about, you know, going to the public pool and get killed, I'm not having to worry about other people judging me because I'm eating a salad, which was one of the videos, I mean, really, we got it pretty good in many ways, yeah, I've been through some abusive things, and that, you know, have had depression and had people call me names in my life and you know and people still call each other names and not just in YouTube but in lot you know our day to day lives and it's just why do we do that? It's so stupid. It, it makes no sense to treat each other the way we do in our world. I mean none of it makes sense. But for them to be that brave and to film that and um is inspiring, and, you know, people say that they find that I'm courageous, admire my courage, because I speak out about my learning disability, because I speak out about domestic violence, and yeah, I guess that is courage, but I have nothing on these people, people. and those are the ones that we should be admiring. But it's nice to have someone admire you. Don't get me wrong. So, yeah. Um, it really, it is a very, very touchy subject for me. Because I come from a military family, and because I have a brother-in-law all overseas. And I want peace for very selfish reasons. But it, seeing that put a whole new perspective on it. And it's not like I've never known anybody from Iraq, because I actually when I was single dated a guy who was from Iraq. He was a uh, Kurdish and um, had been a member of the, what they call the Peshmegra. And um, you know, actually his family, his family's house had been burned down by the Iraqis and whatnot. You know, and it's just, it's so much conflict and so much hatred and so much anger and so much rage there and so much uh, you know finger pointing it's this country's fault and that country's fault and death to America and and it's just it's so sad it's so disheartening to me to see that our world is like this and that you know it's not brand new <laughs> it's definitely not brand new it's been this way for centuries and centuries and 
you know, we can sit there and say it's this person's fault and this person's fault and that person's fault. But just, you know, and I'm not trying to get political and I know this is going to get political, but I'm not in any way trying to get political. You know, whether you think it's right or whether you think it's wrong, it's, that's, you know, up to you, and I don't really care. I just want us to understand that there are people out there, there are people, people in these situations. There are lives, real lives, and they're, they're like us in many ways. Um, you know, yeah, they have different religions, and yeah, some of, and not all of them hate us. And I'm talking about Americans, because there's not all Americans on YouTube, I know that. But, it's so sad. So. And, I wish I could do something about it. It makes you feel helpless. But, at the same time, I admire them. Wow, you know, um, could I be that strong? Could I live in, in the land of war? Could you? Could we li live, go to school, college, like one of the videos, knowing that the dean was assassinated? Could you do that? Wow. Just for wanting to get a higher knowledge, to, to have a better life, to, to be a smarter, better person. I know that I'm blessed, and I want that blessing for other people in the world. I just don't know how we're ever going to do it. It'd be nice, wouldn't it, if all the world was blessed to have the freedoms that many, many, that some countries like the country I live in have. I know that my country's not the only one. It would be nice. Anyways, I'm gonna read my point. Reality can come screaming at you in any way, on any given day. I don't live in the land of war. And I can't ignore the pain of your world. As you ch reach through the sc screen to touch my heart, I want to be a part of the peace I hope someday you will have. That's it, guys. Choose, shall be good to each other. Remember, peace starts within yourselves. You know, no matter what your political beliefs are, no matter what you feel, peace starts within ourselves, and we spread it out. And that's easy for me to say, because I don't live in a land of war. Peace.